All right, so if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that back in 2013, we bought a barn house and then totally redid the entire inside of the house. And uh, we totally gutted the kitchen and the downstairs bathroom and uh, put new flooring in, redid the stairs, same thing up here, new flooring, it's plywood plank flooring. Um, painted all the walls. We did all the ceilings in sort of a board and batten style with lots of trim. We trimmed out all the doors, we painted the doors, we kept the originals, just painted them, and then the entire house even has brand new windows that we installed because the old ones were in really bad shape. That was the worst part of the house. So anyway, we've redone just about everything in the house except for the upstairs bathroom here. This thing is bad. It is super ugly and we kept putting it off. We, we didn't redo it with the rest of the house because we needed a place you know, to actually use the bathroom and to have access to water and all that while we were renovating downstairs. So we just never did it and it's like, oh, we'll do it eventually. And now it's four years later. It's like, okay, it's time to do it. So let me kind of give you a quick tour of this and I'll show you what our plans are. All right, so this bathroom is going to need a lot of work. So it's a Jack and Jill style. So there's a door that goes into a front bedroom. And then over here is another door that goes into the back bedroom. And uh, it's a pretty tight fit. I mean, you got your, your basics here. So you got the old school green toilet there and the old school green sink that doesn't quite fit. And they notched it to fit. And then uh, over here we got the old school fiberglass green shower surround. So those main three elements are going to get completely replaced and then everything else is just going to get updated. So I guess I'll start up top. It has popcorn ceilings, which we don't like. We got rid of it in the rest of the house when we put in uh, board and batten style ceilings. So we're going to do that in here too. We'll probably have to shave all that off and then we'll just kind of trim it out a little bit to make it match. And uh, it looks really bad above the shower. It's starting to peel off. And I think that's because the shower, or actually the whole bathroom itself, does not have a vent. It just has the light there, but there's no fan. So all that moisture was getting to this and uh, making it fall down. So we never actually used the shower. We were afraid it would get worse. So we've never used this one in the four years in our, we've lived here. I think I turned it on once to make sure it runs, and that was it. But uh, we also plan on getting rid of this old fiberglass surround. So that's why we kind of knocked some holes in the wall. We were just kind of seeing what we're working with. So I'll probably have to cut it out because I have no idea if this is going to fit through our door. So I'll just have to hopefully chop it up and uh, pull it out. And then we're going to redo the interior of the shower here in um, concrete board and then cover it in uh, subway tiles like we did in our downstairs bathroom. It should look a lot nicer. And the only other thing I gotta do is I wanna raise the shower head because right now if I got in there, I'd have to duck a little bit to use that. It's a little bit low. So we plan on raising it a bit and then we're gonna extend it out a little further and then have kind of like a rain shower head style, um, you know, shower head on there. So that'd be kind of cool. And then uh, we also, we're hoping that the mixer behind here we can keep and all we have to do is replace the little trim here you know, with a new piece and a handle instead of a knob. And uh, hopefully it'll look a lot nicer. Of course, we're going to put in a new toilet so the green. We got a new white low flow we bought. And then the uh, vanity, we got a new one we're putting in too. I mean, this one is built pretty sturdy, but man, it's just so ugly. We don't want to repaint it, new sink and all that. We're just going to put a whole new one in. Plus, it fits really weird. So I think the space between the wall here and the wall here is 32 inches. So we found a new vanity. I think it's 30 inches or 30 and a half. So I don't know if it's the uh, correct way to do it, but my idea is... You can kind of see how this wall uh, jets out a little bit. That's because there's a closet back there. So what I plan on doing is actually bumping this out the extra inch and a half where it's going to take and uh, probably just lay some uh, two by fours in there. You know, instead of like this, I'll lay them in sideways the inch and a half and then drywall over that and then it should meet. And then, uh, you know, our new one will fit perfectly in there. And it's kind of a weird setup. It has... A slope down at the bottom so you can see how they had to cut all this off it's sloped because that's the ceiling to the stairs and you can see the drain goes into the wall I never really seen a sink do that before so I'll have to uh, deal with that so I guess all the drains and all that are in this wall but uh, we'll replace it we're gonna replace the light I don't know if we're gonna do two lights or just put another single in there we're gonna get rid of this mirror which is actually a medicine cabinet I could probably put that on Craigslist and someone would snap it up and I plan on I might build a mirror and uh, have like a shelf built into it so it'd be the mirror and then it kind of jets out so you can put stuff in there and then uh, right here we can get rid of this little thing someone threw in it's probably from walmart you know or whatever but it, it's pretty junky it wobbles and everything so i might build a little shelving unit up here so that you can store towels and toiletries and all that kind of stuff and then the last thing is this wall right here i mean right now it's just painted yellow it looks okay probably on camera but if you felt this in person i mean this thing is really rough this is the roughest wall i've ever felt I mean, it's bad. 
So we're going to have to smooth it out. And then uh, like right here, we'll have to smooth it out with some uh, co joint compound because we tore out trim when we put in all new windows in the house. That's the only thing we did to the bathroom so far was a new window. And uh, anyway, we'll have to smooth it out and get rid of all this beadboard and trim down here. And uh, I think we might actually cover up this wall and uh, do a cool little feature on there. So that's something that uh, we're still kind of working on. But uh, anyway, I should go ahead and start kind of, not really a gut, but just get rid of a lot of stuff, get rid of this and uh, all the floor trim and then uh, start figuring out how all this can come out and even this. I'm going to start doing my tear out today. So anyway, it should be a cool project. I'm going to do it a little bit different style than my rest of the videos. I'm going to do this more vlog style, just kind of in real time and uh, should be kind of cool. So anyway, let me get started. All right, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Well, that wasn't as exciting as I thought. Check it out, we're making some progress here. Got the light gone, the uh, mirror and the medicine cabinet's gone. Pulled out the little vents, door trims out. We pulled all of that uh, backing and apparently we were living under the seat here and we never knew it, but that's coming out. You can see how we started tearing some of that uh, wallpaper away and it's tearing the wall off again. And then uh, over here, haven't done a whole lot yet, but we basically, we're gonna have to tear all this drywall out and then cut this out next as well as take out the sink, which I was kind of looking under there just a second ago to figure out how that's going to happen. And the toilet has to come out too, which should be really easy. Just a couple of bolts, hold it to the floor and then unhook the water, no big deal. So I'll do all that next and this thing will be down to about as bare bones as we're going to take it before we start fixing some stuff. Oh, okay, there we, oh man. Okay. Oh. Okay, man, that sucked. Look at all that stuff that was underneath there. That's really gross. All right, getting it cleaned out, and then we can start doing the shower next. The drywall torn out of here looks pretty good so now I'm gonna actually work on the fiberglass surround so kind of pried it away from the wall a little bit to kind of see where the water lines run and up here it's on the other side of the 2x4 but once it gets to the mixer then it's on both sides of that 2x4 so I don't want to cut anywhere close to there so I think what I'm actually gonna do is use my uh, grinder here with a cutoff wheel and actually cut right down the corners. And then that way, hopefully, I can actually just kind of peel the sides away. So we'll see how this turns out. It's probably gonna be really dusty and messy. And since it's fiberglass, probably a little itchy too. So let me get going on this. Everything we possibly could and this part was stuck and I couldn't figure out how to get the um, drain out of the pan here so I tried cutting it with the saw and of course it didn't work so I ended up, ended up looking on YouTube and some guy used a drill and there's like this little 
black rubber around here and I just drilled a whole bunch and then knocked out and now it's loose as you can see so it should be able to pull out now we can get rid of this thing and finally clean it up because this thing is a wreck now all right so check it out here's what we got done in about four hours today so the toilet's gone got it plugged up so the sewer gases don't come out we have all of that beadboard gone this wall we're just going to leave it as is because we're going to cover it with some uh, cedar paneling that will paint white has kind of a shiplap look pretty cool this wall right here though needs a little work has a couple of holes up here that we have to fill in and then uh, this right here i'm gonna have to skim coat over all this and sand it smooth because it's really rough and we're just going to leave this all drywall and then uh, we haven't taken the floor tiles out yet because when you peel them up they're really sticky there's lots of adhesive so we're going to wait till it's time for the flooring to do that all that crap that was right here that fell through the uh, crack of the old vanity we cleaned all that up Got this all plugged up so it's ready to go. This wall right here, I forgot I need to take that drywall out. And uh, that way I can put in my little 2 by 4s to bump it out and then I'll drywall on top of that. So I got to do that tomorrow. This hole right here where the mirror was, we're going to leave it alone because we're actually going to cover this wall. I think we're going to do it like the other wall with the, um, the uh, paneling to look like a shiplap. And then we'll paint it. I, the rest of the walls will probably paint white. I'm not sure if we'll do the uh, paneling in white or gray. We haven't decided that yet. And then up here, the uh, box up here, if I bump this out an inch and a half, this will no longer be centered. So we might have to move it tomorrow an inch and a half as well. But uh, that's pretty much it for this section. So then over here, I have the shower. And this thing looks way better now. It looks bigger. It looks cleaner to me. And uh, this thing's ready to go. All that drywall come out. And then that uh, shower surround, that fiberglass shower surround is really tricky to take out. I tried cutting the corners and that wasn't good enough. So I had to do some cross cuts. Just be careful to not hit water pipes or the electric lines. We finally got it out and got it all snapped down and uh, cut out except for the pan at the bottom. And like I said, I couldn't quite figure out how to get it off of that drain. So I found that guy on YouTube and he just took a drill, drilled a bunch of holes all the way around that little black rubbery gasket. And then you're able to pop it right off. And then the whole pan just come right up, no problem. So we took it out and we swept the whole thing and vacuumed it and just made it look a lot better. So now what we've got to do for the rest of tonight is just plan out what all we need to buy. I think we're going to hit up Menards tomorrow. They have 11% going off. I think tomorrow's the last day. So we're going to try to get as much as we can. So we kind of need to know exactly what we need. But we're going to buy a ton of stuff for the shower. Going to buy the paneling. Flooring, we, we need to put some lue on, on eventually, and then we'll cover it in tiles and all that. So just lots of work happening uh, tomorrow, but I think that's it for today. So anyway, I think that looks pretty good for four hours. We really made some progress, and uh, hopefully this thing's going to look a lot different in the next video. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate that. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. That really helps get it out in front of other people that might like to check it out too. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that to keep up with more videos. And if you want to see some other projects I have, I have some here on the screen and down in the description below as well.